Hallelujah, ja, Hallelujah. Shall we start over again? Hi. Oh my gosh. Folks, it's been one of those days. You know what I mean? I know you know what I mean. I know you've been there. We're all over the place over here. And it looks like the weather is the same because I look outside, bright and sunny, sweltering. Two seconds later, gigantic thunderstorm, branches are blowing, leaves are flying everywhere. I don't know. Hope the stream holds. If I cut out, you know why. Forces of nature. Uh, <clears throat> any entertainment going on for all you folks out there? Hope you're uh, catching up with all the latest and greatest. It's impossible. There's too much, too much to watch. I can't take it anymore. Nobody watches the same stuff anymore. There's one thing I can tell you that everybody probably is familiar with in this grand landscape of multiverses we're all trying to keep track of entertainment wise and that is star wars uh it's a classic you know we all know and love it and um folks i want to ask you what do you call an invisible droid c Troopio. bad. I think we should do some drawing. Welcome to the Draw Along Show. Get yourself something to draw with. Could be a pencil, a pen, a marker, a crayon. Could be an antenna that you rip off a droid, you know, and dip in some nice motor oil and then draw all over your, fa your parents' uh, favorite white carpet. Uh, I'm not going to judge. Um, hope you're all doing well out there. Hi to some folks in the chat. Uma Cornish here. What's up, Jack? Nice to see you. And Viola. And I see Paco. What's up, Paco? That dead intro is a keeper. Should I use that every time? Woo, tongue tied over here. Tough stuff. Tough day. Christelle, what's up? Misty, Winish, nice to see you. Fabio, all these lovely people joining us today for the Draw Along show. Um, now, to do these drawings, you have to be able to do three, count them, three, uno, dos, trois, simple things. Straight line, okay, zigzag, or, and, curve a linear line. S curve, C curve, shallow, tight. You get the idea. You can do those three simple things. I know you can. And that means you can follow along with our drawing today. We're going to get started. Uh, let's go for it. Now, we're going to start with a line about yay long. And when I say yay long, you must be wondering to yourself, how long is yay? Well, the answer to that question is if you're drawing this on a piece of paper, well, why don't you make that uh, about an inch and a half? Something along those lines. Okay? That'll give you enough room to draw the other bits and pieces. Now, I will say, if you're drawing with something like a crayon, you want to give yourself a bit more space because crayons are chunky and they make bigger lines, so draw a little bit bigger. But pen or pencil, inch and a half, somewhere in that vicinity, you should be fine and good to go. We're going to pop up a little ways like this and a little ways like that. Okay, not very far. Check out the size of those lines. Let's do some comparative measuring. All right, you could probably fit about one, two, three, about seven of these into this longer line, just to give you kind of a sense there. Um, now, we'd like to do this sometime in the Draw Along show, which is give ourselves a target, right? I'm right here in the center of this series of lines I've just drawn. And from the center, I want to pop up to about here. What I'm aiming to do is create a dome. So I want to draw a curvilinear line, a C-curve, to meet here on this side, and another one to meet here on this side or carry it through. And when you give yourself a little target, a little dot like this, okay, it makes it a little easier to know where the top is rather than just blindly going for it and not being quite on the mark. So up I go and over to about there. All right, same on, you know what? I'm looking at that, I gotta do it like this. I gotta do it like this. I make it a little bit higher. There we go. You might not think that's a big change, but it is to me. So curve a linear line up to there and then down to there. So we're making a dome. Alrighty, there's your dome. Now, I want you to look at the center of this dome. I want you to come down just a little ways. And we're going to do this. We're going to make a line coming in almost to the center. Almost to the center. Same on this side, almost to the center. But they stop just shy of it, and then you just pop them up like that. One and two. Alright? So we got these little sort of triangular shapes up there at the top hanging out. Inside of this triangular shape, we're going to do a little diagonal line this way, 
pop another one up there and just square it off. One, two, and three. All right, everybody see that? Okay, now just under here, give myself a little bit of space, draw a line like this, and I'm gonna draw a parallelogram, okay? So, or a trapezoid, pardon me. Down at an angle, down at an angle, square it off, okay? Trapezoid. I said parallelogram, that's wrong. This would be a parallelogram. Long time since I did geometry, folks. Woo, I don't wanna tell you how many years because then you know how old I am and I am a geezer. All right, right here, little circle. Pop that in there like that. And then just underneath it right here, we're gonna draw a little box. Okay, one, two, three, four. And guess what we're gonna pop in there? Another circle, circle time. And since we're in a circle, circle mood, we're gonna draw another circle over here. Circle, okay. And just behind it, okay, C curve. Check this out, C curve right there. Mm-hmm, -hmm. beep boop, says Clever. Yep, we know these sounds. We know these sounds, don't we? We know what we're drawing over here. All right, look at the height of this, okay, this box I drew. I want you to imagine that you're just continuing that over here. Same height and just draw it off to the side like that, and then bam, square it off. All right, we're gonna do another one right here next to it. Boom, boom. Okay, the box, it's all the detail work, and then we're gonna draw a line right through it like that. And then we're going to repeat, ready? Another one, bam. Hmm, look at all this detail. This is a detail rich drawing is it not check it out over here to the side of this trapezoid just a tiny little detail we're going to pop over there like that one two three okay we like to be specific we like to be specific here now take this side of the dome here we drop it on down a little ways and drop it on down a little ways like that okay and here right under this line we're going to draw a line from about the uh, inside of this circle over to the middle of this stacked set of squares here. Bum, 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 bum. Like that. Right across the middle. Do another one right here. Boo -boo -boo. Okay. Now here I'm going to surprise you. You might expect me to keep on going, but watch what I do here. I'm going to go like this. make a kind of a wiggly line like that. See that? Sort of a wiggly line down there at the bottom. What's going on there, I wonder? Look at this line here, okay? And I want you to skip out a little ways and continue it, all right? Drop it on down here. Keep your wiggly line going a little ways and then connect, see that? And just over here, I'm going to drop a line below here and connect those two sections. I want to repeat that on the right side of my drawing. Alrighty, I'll repeat that on the right. So let's do that. Squiggly, squiggly. Carrying over this away. Okay. We drop down to the squiggly. And just under this line, we connect. Kablamo. Okay, lots of symmetry going on here. Maybe not so much in the head, but definitely over here in the body. To the left and right of these two lines, we are going to just drop little lines like this. Okay? All right, now, here in front of the squiggly, guess what? Slightly different squiggly, okay? You can make yours maybe not exactly like that, doesn't matter, as long as you do some squiggly bits like that. See that? Squiggly, squiggly. Got some squiggly, squiggly shapes there, okay? Now, out from behind this arm, squiggly, 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 a bit more squiggly here. All right, so we have the impression that our good friend R2 is submerged. Now, those of you who've seen Empire Strike ba uh, Strikes Back know what's going on here, right? 
Um, now, how do we show this little swamp? Well, check this out. Up here, right, it's time for me to drop in a Dagobah vine. I'm going to do it like this. Just drop a line like that. Okay, big long C curve. See that? And then another one, kind of like that. And then maybe one kind of coming across like that. You can do these however you want, okay? Now off of these, check this out. I take this one and I go like that. And maybe this one, I go like that, okay? And this one too. And then off of that, maybe a leaf here, a leaf there, some leaves growing off of there. And you just keep doing this. You just kind of add these little bits with leaves, okay? And that is how you swampify this drawing, right? You want to carry that over on this side. You can do another big one like that. You can have one just kind of hanging down like this, right? Maybe another one like that. These are just kind of hanging in. They're just entering the picture from the top there. We don't have to show anything else. See how we do this? Zoom out so you can see that. Just like that. Pretty fun, huh? What do you say, gang? Um, hey, some new folks have joined us. What's up, Katarina? Nice to see you. Uh, don't know if I said hi to Jack. Jack, how you doing over there? All righty. So that is the you draw it portion of the show for today. Nice and Star Warsy. What do you think, folks? Pretty fun. Um, you know, we've drawn a Jedi before here on the show. You may have, may not recall that. That was fun as well. You can look that one up. We also did a Baby Yoda months ago. Really simple, really fun to draw. Remember, everything's archived. You can watch them back on YouTube or Behance anytime you like. I'm gonna hide this for a moment, and it's time for favorite books. Now, I want to bring your attention to this book here, Framed Ink by, and forgive the pronunciation, Marcos Mathieu Mestre, Mestre, I'm thinking, like a French last name, Mathieu Mestre. I could be way off, it could be Mathieu Mestre. I don't know where Marcos is from. Um, however, I do know that Marcos writes great books about illustration. And today we are talking about this book. And here it is, in the flesh, Framed Ink. All right, now, what is this book about? Um, this is really phenomenal for those of you who are interested in getting into comics, but also if you're making single illustrations and you want to know how do I punch up my composition skills. Everything you could possibly want to know about composition is right here in this book. And there are these really cool breakdowns. Here we have some illustrations of a train, okay? And you'll see over there on the left, you'll see the trains far away, okay? Middle distance, and then a close up. And you can see this breakdown of the graphic shapes uh, right here for those compositions with pocket, positive and negative space. And uh, it is such a cool way to think about how these are, are framed, basically. What the impression is that you get from each of them. Same subject matter, totally different treatment in terms of camera angle, composition, right? Um, he does a lot of this where you'll see some nice storytelling work in sequential art, okay? Sequential art meaning sequence of images, right? Comics, of course. Um, but uh, I really want you guys to pick this one up because for those of you, especially if you're interested in comics, storyboarding work, things like that, um, you really can't go wrong with this book. It's a treasure trove. And there are illustrations on every single page. All of them done by the author, who by the way is, is quite the drafts person. Um, but there are also some really nifty little bits in here that have nothing to do with composition. He throws in these extras like head shapes. I 
Now, some of you may recall that we actually did an exercise in the art tips one day talking about this kind of thing where you work with a basic shape and build on top of it to create characters and things like that. Fantastic. Anyway, this is my recommended book for the day off my little bookshelf back there, my blue bookshelf. And I love it, and I think you will love it too. So check it out, Framed Ink. Um, all right, folks, you know what time it is. It is time for the old animal and activity game. Oh, pardon me. You all hear that alarm. You know what that is. Appreciation Station. You didn't think I'd forget about that, did you? Viola, we are appreciating you today. And Viola, I want to bring your attention to that uh, time a long time ago in a galaxy far, far away where we were riding on our Tauntauns and they were getting tired. But we had to outrun the Empire, that nasty old Empire. Tauntauns were on their last legs. I tell you what, we didn't have any food to give them, no calories. But thank goodness you had brought with you the one thing we know Tauntauns love more than anything else that really puts a pep in their step. And what was it? Duran Duran. Duran Duran music. You blasted it on our space boombox. A little bit of uh, Hungry Like the Wolf. And those Tauntauns perked up. They found their second wind. We went dashing over those snowy hills of Hoth right back to our rebel base, safe and sound. I want to thank you for being such an 80s music fan and for saving the day. That was fantastic. Thank you, Viola. We appreciate you today. And now it is time to get back to drawing. And like I was saying, we're talking about the old animal and activity game here today. Now, we've played this many times before. Those of you who are new to the show, you suggest for me an animal doing something funny or strange or bizarre or unexpected, and I'll draw it for you. In the few minutes we have remaining yesterday, we drew this moose in a hula skirt. And previously, we did a zebra with a Slurpee. This is the kind of funny stuff you all come up with. Today, it'll be something brand new. Please throw your suggestions into the chat so I know what you're thinking, and I will draw one of them right here, right now. In the meantime, let me grab my light blue colored marker here for sketching. That looks good. I like that. I like it. Get myself warmed up. Feeling good, feeling good, feeling good. And let's see what we have for our suggestions today. Um, sloth on a boat, says Alicia. That's a fun one. A sloth on a boat. A bear dancing in the rain. Fantastic, Misty. And it is raining here. Cats and dogs. Uh, an owl playing the banjo, says Viola. I like that. Uh, Umicorn, a hare roller skating down a hill. That's a fun one, too. We haven't drawn a rabbit in a while, I have to say. Misty also suggesting a rabbit. A rabbit chasing a farmer. Must be a big rabbit. Um, Viola says a tiger playing the ukulele. Some instruments going on here. Lots of music ideas. Skunk on a tightrope. That's a good one, Tina Marie. Thank you for that. Steven says a stegosaurus making a milkshake. Wow, that's funny. <laughs> I uh, unfortunately don't know what a stegosaurus looks like. I think I do, but I'm not sure. Um, I do like dinosaur suggestions. Um, let's see. Well, I got to get to it. Let's see. We've, uh, we've got a skunk on a tightrope, tiger playing things, a stegosaurus, rabbit chasing a farmer. Um, owl playing the banjo. Have I ever drawn an owl? Ever? On the... I don't think I've ever drawn an owl on the show. Um, let's try that. I'm doing it because it's new. I, I really, I can't recall a time when uh, we've drawn an owl on the show. see if we can make this work. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I, I really don't think we've done that. I can't think of a time we've drawn an owl on the show. I can't think of one. We may have done it though, so you know, I, I mean, I'm, I've been wrong before. 
I tell my kids. Here's a trick, by the way. Draw through. Draw through stuff. Imagine you have x-ray vision. I want to get that circle look right, so I draw through, and then I can always erase what I don't need. Um, Some banjos have, what, four strings, and some have five, I think, right? No such thing as a six-string banjo, is there? Let's put this owl in some overalls. How's that look? What do you think? Pretty owly, right? Pretty owly right there. And why don't we knock that back a hair? Make a new layer. And um, as always, I want to strive for efficiency here. So. I try and knock a curve in with one shot if I can. That is the goal. The sketch is there to help with Placement, right, proportion, all those kinds of things. But as you can see from um, what I'm doing right now, it's it's not like I stick to it 100%, right? I change up some things here and there. Um, and I want you to remember that about the sketches. It's not something that you have to make so tight that you feel like you can't change your mind make some different decisions as you're going along. Um, so I'll do that a lot. I'll, I'll, I'll change a little bit here and there. You know, like here, are these details at the cuff of the of the the overalls, for example. Like, I really want those to be a certain way. The scale of things is basically the same, right? But I'm I'm just changing a few things just to give it a better flow or or whatever it is, you know. There we are. A few little details here and there. Get the body of the, um, the banjo in place.
Some action lines are always fun, right? And finally, we just add that, that foot. And uh, that's pretty much it, gang. A little shadow under there. Hide the sketch, and there you go. Great suggestion. Hope you enjoyed that. Thank you, everybody, for watching the Draw Along show this week. Um, we'll be back next week, of course, with more. In the meantime, take care of yourselves. Take care of each other. Please remember to be kind, and I will say ciao for now.